plastic is everywhere and it's hurting planet Earth. From animals mistaking it for food to rivers getting clogged up with it, pesty plastic is causing all sorts of problems for our planet. But the good news is we can do something about it. Find out all about the plastic problem and discover the ingenious ways we are trying to fix it. Then roll up your sleeves. It's up to all of us to make things better. A Planet Full of Plastic by Neil Layton. Hello you. Who? Me? That's right. Quick question. Do you ever think about what things are made of? Because some things are made of paper, like this book, or some things are made of wood or metal or glass. But some things, in fact, lots of things, are made from something called plastic. Have a look at the picture of the kitchen and see all the different things you can find that are made of plastic. Isn't plastic fantastic? It comes in lots of different shapes, sizes and colours. Sometimes it's bendy, sometimes it's hard, sometimes it's big and sometimes it's really, really tiny. If you look around you, plastic is everywhere. But where does all this plastic come from? It doesn't grow on trees. That's right, it's made in factories. You see, 150 years ago, there wasn't any plastic, only materials like wood, metal, paper and stone. And then one day, super chemist Mr Backland made an incredible discovery. Wow! Crazy, groovy, plastic is fantastic, they all said. And they started making lots of it and using it for just about everything they could. But there was a problem. If you look around, you won't just see plastic where it's meant to be. You'll also see it where it's not meant to be. Because one of the most amazing things about plastic is that it doesn't biodegrade like natural things. Oof, now that is a big word, but what does it mean? Let me explain. If a leaf drops to the ground, it will go yellow, then brown, and all skinny and thin until it's just mud and dust. It takes a few months. You can't see them, but bugs are eating the leaf, breaking it down. And it's the same with an apple core or any natural thing. It's called biodegrading. Apple cores take about eight weeks to biodegrade. A twig over a year, some paper about four weeks, a leaf about six months, and a banana peel about six weeks. Plastic is different. If it drops to the ground, it just stays there for years and years and years, and it doesn't biodegrade. Yes, really. This makes plastic super useful because it lasts a long time, but it also creates a problem. If plastic ends up where it's not meant to be, it will stay there for years and years until eventually the weather breaks it down into smaller and smaller pieces of plastic. A huge amount of this plastic eventually ends up in the ocean. Some of it floats to the top of the ocean and stays there. And some of it sinks to the bottom of the ocean and stays there. All of this is a really big problem for animals. Some of them get tied up in it and some of them try to eat the plastic. Because of the circular currents in the oceans, the bits of plastic have collected together, creating five enormous garbage patches full of plastic. The most famous is called the North Pacific gar Garbage Patch. It is currently three times the size of France. Most of the plastic in these patches has broken up into smaller pieces that are so small you can hardly see them. A microplastic is any piece smaller than this. These are even more of a problem than the big bits. Animals think they're food, so they eat them. The microplastics fill up their tummies, leaving no room for proper food. 
and the plastics often carry and contain nasty toxins. So if a small fish eats them, it can be poisoned and so might a bigger fish that eats a smaller fish for dinner and then all the way up the food chain. Some scientists think there'll be soon more plastic than fish in the sea. But I don't want animals to get hurt and I don't want our planet to fill up with plastic. Well, we all need to try and reduce how much plastic we use every day. The less we use, the less we have to clean up. And people who make stuff for us need to think carefully about what they do with the plastic. Creating things that will be thrown away in minutes but stay in the environment forever isn't right. Lots of plastic things are meant to be reused over and over again. So let's make sure we do. And if we have finished using the plastic thing, perhaps we can pass it on to someone else. When plastic stuff has to be reused lots of times, it should be recycled so it can be turned into new plastic things, not just thrown away. But plastic can only be recycled a few times before it stops being useful. And not all plastic can be recycled. So environmentalists are teaching people about the problem because everyone needs to help to fix it. Scientists are coming up with clever ideas too, experimenting with special bugs which might help plastics biodegrade and finding new materials for us to use. And engineers are looking at ways we can clear up the mess. It will take each and every person working together to stop the planet filling up with plastic. It's a big job, but I reckon we can do it. Thanks for listening.